I am legally insane. And today, I'm wearing two adult size diapers, extra absorbent, extra large. You know, I'll give you a tip right now. The reason why you want to buy large to extra large adult size diapers, even if that size is, you know, quote, too big for you, maybe you're a very small individual. You might find that your package isn't very large. You don't need a large to extra large adult size diaper. Well, if you get, go ahead and get the large anyway. Go ahead and get the extra large because it has more space to it for more absorption. It's a larger diaper. There's more that it can absorb in general. So you're getting your money's worth. It's about getting more bang for your buck. So you always get the extra large. So today I'm wearing these diapers because it's a very special day. Because today we celebrate my birthday. And this is the birthday special. Not everybody's going to be wanting, not everybody's going to enjoy this type of content. Because what I do on the birthday special is I do whatever the hell I want to do. And what I want to do is beat the hell out of some trash noobs in Blade Strangers online Nintendo Switch. But I don't think anybody's going to be online. It's very hard to find people online, and it's kind of late at night. I'll load it up. <laughs> if I find somebody, I'll give that kid a whooping. I gave somebody a whooping before I recorded it. I'll try to find that footage again. I'm going to post it up if I find that footage, because I made this guy rage quit. I found the cheapest strategy ever made of any video game fighting game or any video game in general especially fighting games i found the cheapest strategy i cannot be beat in fact i'm putting a challenge out there right now. i'm going to make a video about this later on too i'm putting a challenge out there if anybody can beat me in blade strangers i will pay them 69 canadian dollars if you can beat me in blade strangers but but you cannot be the same character as me Okay, so I get to be my extra cheap, unbeatable character that I'm not going to tell you who it is if you don't already know. Well, I mean, you're going to find out anyway. But you're not allowed to be her. Only I can be her. That's the rule. You can be anybody you want except for my character. That's the rule. And then, you know, you can be first player or second player. You want to start on the left-hand side of the screen? Be my guest. It's not going to affect me. I just spam the same move over and over again. That's I, I do one move. One move. That's all that's all I need. Because I'm that good. I, I actually I have a I have another girl that I like to play. And she's almost as good. <laughs> she has a really cheap move too. But she's not as cheap. You know, I could be beat. If you get lucky, I could hypothetically be beaten with her. So get yourself a copy of Blade Strangers. Post the challenge up to every hardcore gamer that you know. Go on the Reddit fighting game forums, whatever, whatever's out there. Spread the word of the challenge, because I'm looking for a challenge. I can't find a challenge. The last guy that I made rage quit, I sent him a friend request on Nintendo Switch. He never accepted. Because <laughs> he rage quit. He turned his console off. I wish I had a microphone set up or the, the Nintendo Switch app. Maybe I'll send this guy a friend request, whoever this guy is. Oh, this is going to be sick. He's probably going to whoop me, too. <laughs> and that's a cheap character, too, I'm telling you. Master T that he chose. Although, I think he might have random. That's a cheap character. Oh, this is going to be a battle, dude. Yo, you want some of this? <laughs> Good luck, buddy. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna stop doing that. I feel too bad. This might just be a little kid. Oh, I should have kept doing it. Now he's now he's punishing me. Oh snap! Come on. Oh frig! This guy ain't playing around. Oh, I should not not have given him a chance. Oh no! S screw you, buddy. Oh, come on. Oh, he's got me in the corner. He's being cheap. 
Oh no! Oh, I want a rematch. Okay, I'm gonna have to be super cheap. There's no letting this guy have a chance. Okay. Oh boy, this guy means business. Oh no! Oh, come on, you want some of that? Come on, you want some of that? How about this? You want some? Oh, free. Oh, screw this guy. Oh, you want some of this? Oh, come on, buddy. You want that cheapness? <laughs> You're done now. You're done. You're done, buddy. You're done. Oh, you're done. <laughs> oh, man. This is too good. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm too good. I'm the new king of this game. I am the freaking king. I'm not going to do that again, though. He might not want to play with me anymore if I do that again. I don't want to, you know, piss him off to the point where he won't play anymore. We've already established that I am the king of this game and I cannot be beaten. He might have actually left, because it's frozen right now. I made him rage quit. Let me tell you what I'm doing for my birthday. It's a relaxing day. Okay, I'm not 19 years old anymore. I like to relax. I like to sit indoors and play some video games. So what am I playing today? Well, I've got a large list of stuff that I'm playing today. A large list of stuff. And I'm not going to get to everything in this video. I don't think. There's just too many. There's too many of them. So I guess I'll start with the PlayStation. But friggin' hell, man, we're playing the best rhythm game ever made with some of the best music ever made. Busta Groove 2. It's got better music than Busta Groove 1. For the PlayStation 1. I have Buster Groove 1 as well, but in fact, I have two copies, but they're both sealed. I was going to get one graded, and I never did. I probably should. I got them on Amazon for real cheap many years ago, right before sealed games really started taking off. Found them on Amazon. But yeah, Buster Groove 2... Characters that I like in Buster Groove 2, Shorty, all day, every day, but the problem with Shorty is that she's, she's the easiest character, but she doesn't get as many points. So, I also like to use Striker, if I'm trying to actually, you know, do a try hard, let's get some points. Striker's, he's about mid-level. He's not the most difficult character. The more difficult characters, you get more points. And how you win the match is you gotta get more points than your opponent. You gotta dance better than your opponent. You gotta do the fancier move. Better, fancier combos and dance moves than your opponent. And the, the more difficult characters have more complicated and fancy dance moves. So, Bust Groove 2, for sure. I might bust out Dark Omen just to show you, if I do bust it out, that this is one of the best real-time strategy games ever made. I'll show you the first level, and I'll blow the hell out of some orcs with the cannon. The cannon is the craziest, most OP weapon in that game. <laughs> it's, it, it's insane. Like, all, once you memorize the levels, which you are going to have to memorize the levels, you can, you can watch the enemy. You'll know where the enemies are coming. You'll know, okay, there, there's an uh, orc cavalry that's going to be coming around this, this bend any second, or coming down this path. And, and although they're not in vision yet, because there's, it's like a, a real-time strategy, the enemies have to enter your, your army's vision to be able to see them. There's an invisible fog of war. But you can still fire into that invisibleness. And if you fire, if I know that the enemy is sending some troops down this path within, let's say, the first 10, 15 seconds, 30 seconds of a match, or I know that after the cavalry comes out, they're going to send some infantry down that path. I can tell the cannon to just fire in that direction. And it'll go the entire length of the screen until it hits something. And what it's going to hit is that infantry unit, or that cavalry unit. And it's going to blow the hell out of almost the entire army in one hit. <laughs> you know, if, if you aim it correctly, you want to hit right smack dab in the middle to get to be the most effective. 
What else am I playing? You know what? Believe it or not, you know I like bad games, guys. You know I like bad games, and you know I like X-Men. I thought I'd give Wolverine another go. I know it's hard as hell. Probably the Sega version's better. But I barely remember it. I want to give it a go and see what the hell happens. <laughs> I don't remember anything. But I will tell you one thing. I had a friend that beat this game. I had a friend that was like the wizard at, at all video games. And he would rent the same games because you can enter your name on a lot of the games. And I think this is one of them. You enter your name and you get on the high score. And I think it has a battery that saves the high scores. And I could, we, because we were always renting the same games, I would eventually see his name on the high score every time. And I knew what his sign-in was because I would talk to him. And he'd be like, oh, yeah, I already rented that game. I rented that one. I, I beat it. I got the high score. I, I beat it. I got the high score. And every time I'd go and rent it. And, yeah, he was, he was right. He beat it. And he, was, he got the high score. And he beat this game. I have no idea how because I don't even remember if I beat the first level. I probably beat the first level, but realistically, I might not have ever made it past the second level. I just remember it being hard. This is Wolverine Adamantium Rage. Adamantium Rage. Next up, I want to show you guys that Robocop 3 is actually good. Everybody bashes Robocop 3. Just because Robocop versus Terminator is better does not mean that this isn't a good game. I like Robocop games. You move slow. You feel like you're Robocop. You are forced to take damage on top of that. There's a lot of damage that you have no choice but to take. You cannot avoid all of the damage in Robocop. And I like that about Robocop. That's the way it should be. You are a giant armored robot. Half human, half robot cyborg. And you move slow. You should not be dodging enemy fire. You should be absorbing it. That's what you do. You have all of this armor for a reason. That is what Robocop does. He doesn't dodge anything. Go watch the movies. Stand still. Another game that I want to play is some F-Zero. I was playing F-Zero 99. or watching it be played at a game night party recently. And I heard that music. That nostalgic music. And I said, I gotta play that game again. Because the thing about F-Zero, it's a very short game. It was a launch title game, as far as I know. 100% launch title game. It was out the same day as the console. It's very short. What is there, four tracks, I think? But, it's, ti it's a timeless classic. It still holds up to this day. And if it still holds up to this day, after all this time, it will always hold up. They will be playing this game a hundred years from today. They will remember F-Zero. And as a matter of fact, for all you know, in the future, F-Zero will be so popular that, it, that Japan will rename their capital to F-Zero. The city. F-Zero, the city. And everybody in the city will drive vehicles that look like F-Zero. Like, what's a, a Japanese manufacturer? I don't know, Toyota, Subaru, Mit Mitsubishi. One of those got to be Japanese. Well, one of those companies is going to start making these cars in the future. That'll be the new Tesla, the new Cybertruck. 100 years from now, you don't think that they can recreate F-Zero vehicles in 100 years from now? Of course they can. And they'll probably be doing it. Oh, look at this gem. X-Men Mutant Apocalypse. I rented this so many times. Back in the day. I sucked at it. My friend beat it. Same guy. Same guy. He beat the game. And I'd always talk to him and ask him how the hell he did it. <laughs> I could beat one level. I'm pretty sure it was Psylocke's level. One of the characters had... Or the first level. Because I found out after um, watching YouTube. That there's more levels. 
I didn't know that. But yeah, one of the bosses, I think it was Psylocke, she fights. It's either Psylocke or Wolverine. Hell, it might even be Beast. It's definitely not Gambit. I think it's Beast. I beat Beast's level, I do believe. Well, one of them fights a giant sentinel. That's what I do remember. And that character was the easiest. Because I wasn't doing the special moves. I didn't have the manual. I, I was a rental. I know that there's special moves and you have to put in, like, Street Fighter style combinations to do it. As a matter of fact, yeah, I was just going to say, I bet, you, I bet you Capcom made this. And they did make this. That's a Capcom game. I didn't, didn't even realize that till, till now. Because I realized that you have to put in Street Fighter style combinations. That screams Capcom game. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. So Capcom, not only did Capcom make Aladdin, but they also made X-Men. You didn't have Capcom make an X-Men on the Sega Genesis. Although, although uh, the, maybe that's, that's probably a good thing, though, because the Sega Genesis X-Men games are a lot better. So let's go hook up some of these consoles and just start playing. All right, guys, I'm going to be showing you why RoboCop 3 is not... A bad game. RoboCop 3. You just need to know how to play it. You play at the rules this game tells you. We're testing out the 8 bit of wireless controller. I got the wireless receiver plugged in. I got it working. See if I can remember the buttons. As a matter of fact, I just realized I don't remember the strategies. Hold on, let me turn it up. Let me turn it up. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, you gotta conserve your ammo, too. Forgot about that. Top right corner has the ammo. Alright, you gotta be quick. That's one of the strategies I'm remembering. Holy hell. Did I miss a power-up? Oh, okay, select button is your... Man, I'm dying already. This is... <laughs> Yo, come on. No, 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 no. We gotta reset. We gotta reset. We gotta reset. I'm dead in one hit. I just started. Alright, alright. We'll just keep going. That didn't count. You gotta go quick. Okay, now I know select button is the, the the power up. So you gotta switch your weapon. You gotta take this out with the new weapon. And then I guess you gotta take that guy out pretty quick because he was destroying me. Wow. Yeah, I had to really concentrate there. See. You gotta, you gotta know when to use this weapon. Just gotta go, you gotta go quick and take them all, take them all out at the same time. See? This is an ammo upgrade. See, I don't want to go down there, so I got to use triple shot effectively. I switch my weapon there because it's easier to aim with the triple shot. Well, I'm out of ammo already. <laughs> that that normally doesn't happen. That means I'm really, really rusty. That's all that means. Okay, here's some ammo, okay. See, you have to switch your weapon. You tell it which weapon you want the ammo for. So I purposely switched to my triple shot. Those things did a ton of damage. Good thing this is a health. Okay, now this is the most difficult part in the game. Platforming with Robocop is just about dang near impossible. I've almost never made this jump in my entire life. So let's see if I can make it. 
And, and it's going to look easy, but it's not. See? It's not easy. That's my only, only complaint with this game. You know what? Actually, now, now I'm pissed off. I'm just going to friggin' Rambo in. Screw all strategy. We're Ramboing. Because if I can't even make that jump... Wow, I took a ton of damage there. Just frickin' ramble right, right through. I, I don't even need the triple shot. You know what? Maybe that's another strategy. Just friggin' ramble it. But it did run out of ammo way faster than expected. See, actually... There's a lot of enemies there, and it's a dang good thing that I had the triple shot. Oh, that thing did so much damage. I've never gotten hit by those rolling balls before. Wrecking balls. Okay, so I'm out of <laughs> I'm out of regular gun ammo because I ramboed. So probably ramboing is not a good idea now that I think about it. I'm dead in one hit. And I went a little bit too trigger happy there. Yeah, you're supposed to conserve your ammo. This better be a health. Because I don't have any ammo left. I have three shots. I'm out of shots. I'm out of shots. I forgot the punch button. Oh boy, we are in a jam here, guys. We are in a jam. Come on over here. There we go. There we go. We're back in it. We're back in it. We're back in it. Oh, come on. All right, we're done. We're done. We're going lights out mode because we're about to play some X-Men. Mutant Apocalypse. Oh, let's turn it up. We got to turn this up. We got to turn it up. X-Men Mutant Apocalypse Capcom. 16-bit style graphics, Marvel Comics before, what's that, uh, Garbage Disney somehow got their dirty hands on the greatest comic book franchise ever made. Disney ruins everything. They're going to ruin X-Men. They probably already have. X-Men 97's coming out if it's not already out. They're probably going to ruin it. Okay, mission mode. Hell yeah. Oh, training mode sounds cool. We're going to skip training mode, though. Straight to mission mode. And who do we want to be? Let's see if it's a Mega Man style level selection. Wolverine shall gain access into the Sentinel factory. Okay, so Wolverine's level must be the easy one. Because he would probably be the one that fights the Sentinel. But I remember beating it with Beast. Okay, who else we got? Cyclops will intercept and destroy the Genosha army. Okay. Sure. Psylocke shall strike at the main base. Okay. While well, Psylocke distracts, Gambit will attack the soldier's harbor base. Okay. And Beast will gain entry to the central computer. Alright, I don't think I think it was Wolverine that I beat the game with then. Wow. Or beat the level at, at the very least. I fought the Sentinels. It actually appears that you get two lives per character. Man, I really want to be Cyclops. Or Psylocke. Let's just be Wolverine, because I think I can at least probably do better with him. See if we can figure out some moves. Oh, look at that. That was down forward B. I can't even do it anymore, though. How did I do that? You got to think Street Fighter moves. Maybe back forward. That's jump. Hmm. It's got to be a grab attack, is there not? Ooh, 
look at that move. That's a jump and then just a slash down. Now I know there's more moves. Oh, see, I don't even, I must not be good at doing the down forward B. I'm pretty sure that's a down forward move. And I'm pretty sure that's what I used to fight Sentinel with back in the day. I could do it sometimes. And you should be able to climb the walls with your claws. So technically I should be able to get up there. Oh, that's a forward forward attack. There's another move. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to get that. All right, we don't have time for this, unfortunately, to figure this out. That's a game fact that we would need to learn the proper buttons. Oh, that's a pretty cheap attack. You gotta go fast. You know, if I, if I could find some health, I could probably beat this level. I'm trying to watch Wolverine's health to see if he regenerates health on his own. Because I know that in Wolverine's Adamantium Rage, you do actually regenerate. It's just incredibly slow, but at least the mutant power is there. That's the important part. Easy sub boss. This is not the main boss. A little bit too easy. Oh, yeah, I remember this. And what a great game. This is Capcom, guys. What's this? Can I jump over here? Some secrets over here, I do believe. I remember there being seek. Oh, frick. See, there was a secret over there. I knew there were secrets around here. There's one down there, too. You see that? Frick. Lots of secrets. Capcom put so much effort into this game. So much effort. All right. Let's try another one just to show you. But I'm coming back to this one. This is a great game. Don't let anybody tell you that this game is not a great game. So I just hooked up the Sony PlayStation 2. Found my OG memory card, or at least one of my memory cards, that by some miracle was saved from the trash can. My mother did save this and sent it to me about a year ago. It's a green memory card, and I decided, okay... I want to play some Buster Groove 2, so let's see if I still have my save files, because you can unlock Buster Groove 2 characters. And unfortunately, I don't have Buster Groove 2, but I want to show you what I do have. And this is the full memory card. It's full. It doesn't even have a single square left. This is like, you know, when they these first came out in the early days, you couldn't save much on them. You had to buy multiple cards. More than Most households would have had... Minimum of two and likely three or four. So here I've got RTK4, that's Romance of the Three Kingdoms, number four. <laughs> this would have likely been my custom ruler that I created. You could create a custom ruler. It also made the game very difficult, though, because you only got to start with one territory, and you weren't very strong either. So just this camera a little bit so next up i've got shockingly final fantasy 7 as you can see i would create multiple save files this 18 hour one here i don't know if that's my brother's or not i highly doubt that he played this game for 19 hours that does seem rather high but for whatever reason i kept that one maybe it was a friend's save file 
Then I've got 61 hours down here. But the main game is still thriving. I sunk almost 95 hours into this game. 95 hours and counting. Because like this is end game. I was just running around grinding. This is this is the save file that you can go and beat the final dungeon anytime you want. That's what this is. Oh, I see I've got Valkyrie profile on here. I borrowed this from a friend. Interesting to see that on there. As you can see, I didn't get very far. Only level five. I only had the game for like a week. I borrowed it for you know two weeks maximum or it was a rental actually it might have been a three day a weekend rental i i know i didn't get to play it that much i really enjoyed the time that i did have with it though we got and then oh another final fantasy 7 <laughs> two more oh wow man no, i gotta delete some of these i was keeping too many taking up all my memory card space then we've got a vandal hearts game this would be my main file and i did get stuck on this game there's a level that i don't know how to beat it i just cannot beat it you have to keep these zombie controlled villagers alive but every time they attack you you automatically counterattack and kill them and also they do a lot of damage so if you try to avoid them well it's number one it's impossible to avoid them but number two i i mean they're gonna kill you so i could never beat the level then we got two Final Fantasy Tactics games. I beat the game, so this one here would have been the one, again, the save file right before I beat the game. So I sunk about 80 hours into that game. Wow, that's incredible. And I had no idea that I was at the end. I was having so much fun with this game. It's incredible to think that it was 80 hours of fun. I did not know that until right now today, that, this was, that that's how much time I sunk into it. Because like I said, I did not know I was at the end. The game just ended on me to what appeared to be out of nowhere to me. I said, what do you mean the game's over? What happened? And I was so, I was pissed off that it ended. I didn't know, I, I thought maybe I was halfway through the game. That's how, that's how much fun I was having. I was grinding away, slowly chipping away at the story. And then it just ended. So let's go ahead and get started. Bust a Groove number two is in the console. OG controller, you know we do the OGs. I deliberately put a PS1 non dual shock to kick it maximum drive old school. <laughs> Now the music might be too loud, I don't know. But I'm cranking her on my end. So it's gonna be extra loud on my end because this is a rhythm game with good music. The whole point of playing this game is with the music. And actually, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something real quick. I played this game back in the day with the world's greatest surround sound sound system that my brother paid a fortune for. I don't know how much it cost, but it was top of the line surround sound back in the 90s. And it made the game that much better. So until you play a game like this with the world's greatest sound system, you don't know how much better music sounds on a good sound system. So you might hear this music today and say, oh, it's, uh, it's all right. Yeah, it's pretty good. No, 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 no. Play it with a good surround sound sound system. This is 10 out of 10 blow your balls off music. Enix made this game. They published this game. Look at that. It says copyright 2000. So maybe it came out in the year 2000. I would have thought it came out a little bit before that. Yeah, it must be year 2000. This game came out it's incredible all right let's uh see what we're working with here boys all right so 
We'll go with a volume of 15. I can't go too much louder, unfortunately. I'm in an apartment, guys. Okay, so there are all the slots below. Those are unlockable characters. So you can get eight unlockable characters. I never got all eight, so don't ask me who, who else you can unlock, because I don't know. Because <laughs> I guess you gotta beat the game on like uh, unlocking the highest scores. It's kind of like Star Fox. You know, you, you do really well on the level, you go with different branching paths. And some of these characters are easier than others. So, easiest in the game, Shorty. So yeah, I'm gonna be Shorty, obviously. Difficult characters would be, uh, where's the zombie? Bio's pretty difficult, I believe. Probably this guy, probably this guy. Capoeira, whatever his name is. Heat is pretty difficult. Kelly's pretty easy, where's Kelly at? Kitty N, I don't remember. We'll go Shorty. Oh, combo command. Oh, I can go on easy mode. No, no, easy mode's too easy, guys. And and also, you get less points. So even if you go on easy mode, you're like, oh, I'll beat the game, I'll unlock everyone on easy mode. No, you won't, because you won't make enough points. Mix, I have no idea. That sounds really cool, though. I guess it's easy and normal. So a good hybrid. Or it's hard, actually. Maybe that's hard mode. Now, I'm going to suck, because I don't remember how to play. We're going to practice. I just I'm going to show you Shorty's level, because I'm Shorty. Now normally I don't normally you'd be fighting another opponent and you can attack your opponent as well. You get two attacks per level and you also get uh, but you can defend against the attack. But it's very difficult. You have to time it. You have to see that your opponent has attacked you and then you have to respond. And it's part of your dance battle. You're dancing, you're dancing, and then you respond. Okay. Well, you gotta count four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The last one always has to be on beat four. Four. Two, three, four. See, I'm just showing you how to play. Three, four. Three, four. Ah, oh, crap, I messed up, see? Three, four. And if you get them all, you'll get like some hyper dance. You start really grooving. You start getting perfect scores. I'll show you, I'll, I'll try to do it. Oh, I messed up. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Freeze, that's the one. That's maximum combo. Shorty versus Kitty N. Alright, Kitty N's level. This is the real deal. This is full on combat. I'll even try to attack her to, at some point to show you. Computer is usually good at blocking. Crap, see, I messed up already. Four. Four. Bob in my head. Frick! Get dizzy, Bob in my head. I'm still messing up. Frick! Got a solo going on over here. Hey, like that, bitch. Ah, oh, Frank, messing up. Getting dizzy too, bobbing my head up and down. I get, I get easy motion sickness. It's gotten worse with age. Shoot, shoot. Freaking nervous over here, man. Frank. Once you lose track of that fourth beat. It's gets pretty tough. Four. Oh yeah. Yeah, five combo, four combo, I'm almost at freeze time. If I don't mess up, it'll progressively get more difficult. Oh, I'm messing up bad at the end. Just don't have the rhythm in me. The magic's gone, but I've only just started, you know, it's like starting as a newbie all over again. See, in practice mode, they 
have a bar that goes across to help you land that fourth beat. But that doesn't happen in the real campaign, in real battles when you're battling someone. And also, yes, I forgot to attack Kitty in the last game, but I was really trying to do the combos. Strike smooths are a little bit more complicated than shorty. Okay, Bobby had to beat. It's mandatory to do that, by the way. You'll know once you actually play why that is. That's what I was trying to get. Freeze time, bitch. Right at the end, too, bitch. How do you like that? You my bitch now. If I was playing against you in two-player mode, you would be my bitch. Freeze time right at the end. In fact, they probably would have given me a fever time because I did pretty good that time. All right, guys, we're going to be doing some F-Zero. Timeless racing with great music. Timeless classic. And I know that each of these vehicles is different. I don't know what the stats are. Probably the manual told you. That was kind of a flaw in the design. That's early launch title. They're still learning how to make good games at this point, really. Especially for brand new console. So I have a feeling the pink one is actually the fastest. Very slow acceleration and or bad turning. But I think the speed is it has the highest maximum speed. But we're going to be the blue cart by default, which is Captain Fal Falcon's car. Oh, what about the other ones? Does it? What are the other ones called? Golden Fox? Okay, what do we got here? Wild Goose? Fire Stingray? Oh, here it tells you, maximum power, max speed, 478. Okay, let's check it, 478 versus what? Ooh, 457. Dang. Heavier car too, probably slow acceleration. Yeah, oh, this one's even slower. Man, that's cool. All right, let's just be Captain Falcon by default. The Falcon Punch, the best. One of the best moves in Smash Bros. I don't know what the drive button is. It's probably A or B. Pushing B here. Now I think the R buttons help you do a sharp turn, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna hold R here. I don't know if it did anything. Yeah, I remember those jumps. A button is making me flash. I don't know what it's doing. Might be the brake button. I wish I knew. Oh, yeah, you gotta do sharp turn around that corner. Okay, so Y button might be brake. X also might be brake. I think I hit A, which used a turbo. Okay, I think I had three turbos in the bottom corner. Yes, I did, which means I'm out of turbos. That's nitro, nitro boost. So probably I'm not gonna come in first place anymore because I didn't know that. Oh, come on, how many laps are left? Three laps left. It gave me an extra nitro boost from either the lap completion or getting powered up at the power station. 
It's been a long time since I played this one, so I don't remember. Oh, come on. No, I used turtle. Can't let him do that. Yeah, see, it gave me another one. And I think it powered it up because I'm pretty sure it was yellow. And now it turned green. Bottom right corner. You're probably supposed to turbo boost onto those ramps. They'll just send you flying, I have no doubt. Let's see if we can do it. Where's that ramp? A turbo right over it. Where's that ramp? There it is. I turboed. Didn't do much. Turboed again. Turboed again. Easy. Big blue. Let's just see the music on this level. It's not bad. Now this level is much better. Oh, Frey. Yeah, you gotta use some skill on this level. I just picked up a turbo. Healed up a little bit. Coming for that first place. Oh, we might as well beat the game. Friggin' war going on. I thought I was in first place. Who's ahead of me? Screen guy? Oh, I need that power. I need that power. Yeah, there we go. Still in it. I'm still in it. Two turbos. Two turbos ready for straight away. Computer is like they're really giving me a challenge here. Okay, we're gonna wait for the straightaway. I was looking at the map, that was my fault. We're gonna wait for the straightaway. Here it is. We're now we're gonna turbo. Double turbo, triple turbo. I'm hitting A, it's not even doing anything anymore. Used another turbo. We're killing it now. We're just slapping everyone now. I'm gonna beat the game. I'm gonna go all the way. You might as well just beat the game. Computer can't beat me. See, I played a lot of Turbo Chase Horizon, which is a very strategic racing game. So I am all about waiting for the right time to use your turbo, picking up those gas canisters, Oh, I'm killing it. I'm killing it. Now, I have a feeling that I don't want to hit that guy. Oh, gosh. I'm dead in one hit. I'm dead in one hit. I'm dead in one hit. Holy hell. <laughs> I don't even know, know how that happened. I guess I, I bumped into that flashy guy. I guess that's how they get you. So even when you're winning... Okay, I like that. Okay, that's interesting game design. So when you're winning because you're too good at the game, which I am... They'll try to get you by having all these like really slow guys that you're lapping all the time, but some of them are flashing. And if you happen to tick one of them, 
if you happen to hit him, you are going to take a ton of damage and it's going to bounce you against the walls and you're likely to die. That's how dire and how serious it is to bump into one of those guys. See, I didn't know that. Otherwise, I would have slowed down, which is what the game wants you to do to let the computer catch up to you. I like that. That's good game design. That spices things up. I'm giving this game a 10 out of freaking 10. Although, I would have beat the game otherwise. I was on a roll to beat the game. And had I known that, I wouldn't have bumped into that guy. I would have been, I would have been a little bit extra cautious because I had a, a lot of power still left. My health bar was looking half decent. It was looking decent enough that I was going to finish this race. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm trying to get to over 9 thousand subscribers on my way to collecting over 9,000 video games it's my birthday and the super nintendo believe it or not is my favorite console of all time because and you know why i'll tell you why it's because i love the graphics and the music the sound chip on the 16-bit consoles which includes sega genesis the sound chips produce the best sound known to man and, and they can reproduce it nowadays on modern consoles, and that's fine. Same with 16-bit style graphics. And they do reproduce it. Octopath Traveler, for example. They do reproduce it because it's that good. They're mimicking the 16-bit style because it's that good. The pixel art can never be topped. A lot of people would think, oh, your favorite console must be the Xbox 360. No, it is not. That's one of my favorite consoles to collect for because I actually got in early this time. <laughs> um, but uh, the 16-bit has always had a hold on me because of that pixel art. 